Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly God in Burlington, Kansas. I hope you're having a great morning. It is the 28th of March. We're coming to the end of March, and soon we'll be in April, and I'm looking forward to that. Well, it is Tuesday, <clears throat> so today's verse is June, uh, John, I almost said June, John 16, 33. Interesting passage of scripture today. It is all in red, which means Jesus said this. He said, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. I thought this was very interesting. I say that pretty much about every scripture because I, I've learned that when you read passage of scripture, you learn or you gain some new wisdom as you read it. And that's uh, new insight. But it says this, it says, check this out. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. And, and literally, in Jesus, there's peace. And he says, check this out. I have, the world will have trouble. He makes no qualms about this. And if you didn't realize, there is trouble all around us. Watch the news, there's trouble. You walk out your front door, there's trouble. There's things happening all around you. And people go, well, you become a Christian, it's a perfect life. Uh, no. Um, the very simple fact is we're human beings, there's trouble, there's riots, there's war, There, all this stuff happens. There is no negating that things, bad things are going to happen. See, sometimes we get a misconception that as soon as you become a Christian, everything is going to be hunky-dory. Like that word, hunky-dory. But the fact is, it's not. But the thing it says, but take heart, I have overcome the world. The very fact, the, the Bible says that we will become overcomers. The Lord gives us wisdom. The things of this world is not what defines us. Yes, we're going to have bad things. Yes, there's going to be trouble. Yes, there's things. But we can get through them because the Lord gives us strength. He gives us wisdom how to get through those. The things that are happening in our lives right now does not define us. Um, the deaths in our loved ones does not define us. Uh, our financial problems does not define us. Um, the loss of work does not define us. Um, you can just name a whole lot of different things does not define us. Um, our past does not define us. If we're a new Christian, our definitely our past not does not define us. We we come to understand that the devil continues to want to de define us by the things that are going on right now. But who we are in Christ is what defines us. Because in here it says, I have told you these things. So that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. It's only, it, it, it's like a promise. You will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. It's a promise. It's, it's a word of encouragement. So I just want to encourage you with that today. Remember, this is a Bible study. So take out your pad of paper or your notebook and write this out. And uh, it's John 16.33 where it says, and write this out, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And then put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, and pray. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for those who are watching. I pray that you encourage their heart, Lord. Give them strength as they go through this day, Lord God. If there's issues going on in their life, Lord God, right now, I pray that you give them strength. But Lord God, may they know that whatever there's going on is not what defines them. Lord, may they also, Lord, push into or get into your presence. That is what defines you. 
their relationship with you. Lord, give them a great Tuesday, Lord. I pray that you bless them in your name. Amen. Have an awesome Tuesday. I'll be praying for you today. Love you guys. I'll see you in the morning. God bless you. Love you guys.